there's a lot more nudity out here than probably needs to happen. <laughs> morning it's about seven in the morning here in san francisco i am not a morning person so getting my fuel for the day some cold brewed coffee and we have something fun for you today all right we're a little more caffeinated now and we're in san francisco's soma neighborhood south of market and we're heading to the beginning of the beta breakers race it's at howard in Maine and we're going to try to find a good spot to watch the thousands, maybe tens of thousands of runners take off. Beta Breakers isn't just any foot race. In 1986, it broke the Guinness Book of Records as the world's largest foot race with 110,000 participants. And costumes, their thing here. Or no costumes. Beta Breakers, the first race started in 1912. And back then, a couple hundred people ran it. And just over the years, San Francisco has taken over the event. A bunch of people do run the race, but even more people go to watch the race and party alongside the race. So there's street closures, house parties all over the city, people getting ragingly drunk at like 10 in the morning. <laughs> So it'll, it's quite the spectacle. Okay, so the start of the race is right over there, but there's some fencing going on, so we're gonna have to figure out how to get there. <laughs> we're a little bit late, we gotta run. <laughs> I'm not in costume, I feel so ashamed. <laughs> All right, it's 8 a.m. This is the starting point of the race. We're at the end of the starting line, and we're about to take off. absolutely not going to run this race <laughs> but we will be spectating and we'll be driving around the city at different viewpoints the 45 seconds point. to go the and it's been two years since this event here. has happened because of the pandemic so people years. are super excited Running the energy out here is amazing the and I've never watched the beginning of the This is the fifth or sixth group that has started. They're spacing them out a little bit to avoid other chaos. Yeah, I forgot to mention, some people run it naked also. Case in point. <laughs> Girl, this wizard costume is where it's at. <laughs> Fun fact about San Francisco, there's a cohort of gentlemen here, generally between the ages of 50 and 70 who enjoy walking around the city in their birthday suits. My question about the naked men is that San Francisco isn't exactly a warm city. Like it's always a consistent 50 to 70, so it's always jacket weather, but the cold doesn't seem to affect them. They just go about their lives. So people racing throw tortillas before running. This is one of the many quirky traditions of beta breakers, throwing tortillas at the starting line. 
so many of them. No one knows exactly how this practice started, but it's a thing. Look, there's a little golden boot bridge. <laughs> how cute. I want to emphasize how debaucherous beta breakers can be. Over the years, it's gotten so crazy that city officials tried to officially ban nudity, drinking, and partying in 2009. All the things that make beta breakers beta breakers. The police are trying to keep the peace over here. She is just trying to do her job. The Beta Breakers route is 12 kilometers, beginning in the Embarcadero neighborhood of San Francisco and touching iconic spots in the city like the Panhandle and Golden Gate Park. It ends on the beautiful Great Highway next to Ocean Beach. <laughs> so we're at the Panhandle. This is one of the hot spots of the race. There's a huge park over here. Golden Gate Park is down a little bit that way. So everybody's running by. I think people are a little tired at this point. They're like a couple miles in. But later on, this entire green space will become a crazy party. Yeah, hello, Lenza. Hi. Lenza's been running around like a maniac all day. He's very purpose-driven and goal-oriented, trying to capture this race. <laughs> Go, buddy! <laughs> so the runners from the Panhandle where we just were, they ran all the way through Golden Gate Park and the end is right here at beautiful Ocean Beach. This is a really beautiful part of town. Got a medal anyway. <laughs> is this your first time running the Beta Breakers race? No, no, it's not. About six or seven. Oh wow! How was it this year? Was it very tame? Was it more crowded than normal? Uh, a little more tame. No bands and mm. uh, chilly. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, how did this year's race compare to other years? So this year we had a, a few less participants coming off of COVID, but as far as uh, the crowd behaving themselves, it's been it's been a good day. What's the craziest thing you've seen at Beta Breakers? Jeez, oh, there's a lot more nudity out here than probably needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, but has it gotten tamer and tamer over the years? Because I hear that like a decade ago it was even crazier than it is now. Yeah, I think there definitely it's there it was crazier and uh, and less people. So between the two, it's. Uh, it's gotten better, but wow. there were times where it was, yes, absolutely insane. And have you ever run it yourself? No negative. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, we didn't run it either. We just like filmed along just, the way. Just came here to get the reaction, yes. Exactly, yeah, it was great to see the city kind of come back to life after two years. It is, we, as a city, we definitely needed this. We need, people need to get back out and get together. So yes. it's been very nice. Amazing, thank you so much for talking to us okay. today. Of course, have, have a good, good one. one. Bye.
Cool. <laughs> Can you tell us about your costume today? Yes, this is the uh, Emperor Gunner clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. But I have clothes though, it's just low, low IQ people can't see them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is this your first time running the race? Uh, second. Second time. Yeah. How was it this year? It was cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of stuff to protect you from the elements, yeah, right? It was cold. <laughs> okay, we're at the after party back at the Panhandle. Earlier the race was happening over here. This is where everybody gathers with music. You can see the coordinated costumes. Get a little dancing going on. Get a little ratchet, you know. <laughs> 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 So we were talking to one of the participants who's done this many years in a row and this year we were green. It feels a little bit tamer than before. You know, usually by 9 a.m. this entire patch of grass, this entire park would be filled with a bunch of people partying. But, you know, it's been two years since the race has happened. We've had a whole pandemic, so maybe a lot of people just didn't really know it was happening, and but it's cool. It's really nice to see the energy and everybody participating in the costumes. You know, it feels like San Francisco is back to life. Hey, pretty girl. You're so cute. Did it hurt? All right, so we're on our way out now. This is the Beta Breakers after party. Significantly calmer this year than the previous years, but that's totally fine. San Francisco is still slowly but surely coming back to life after the pandemic, but it was super great to be out. We hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of what the Beta Breakers race is like, and we will see you next time. Hit the subscribe button.